What is up guys, Digital VFX here once again, and today I'm going to have a tutorial on how to make a uh, electro house. Um, yeah, it's going to be like the, I mean, you'll see, you know the sound, um, obviously you know what you're looking for because you got to this video, but it's going to be like a dirty uh, kind of Benny Benassi, Zed type of thing. Um, here's the song I'm working on. Uh, it's going to be released in like a month uh, when I get uh, vocals for it um, someone I have vocals ready to sing but waiting for that uh, arrangement to happen and then I'll have vocals for this and then it'll be released um, but here's it so far here's the drop <laughs> Alright, that's what you're looking for. I apologize if it's distorted at all. Um, I'm on my secondary uh, primary sound driver just so I can record out of my mic because uh, uh, Asio for All um, is exclusive for just FL Studio and I won't get any sound of my mic. So that's why it's a little bit choppy, not as good quality, but you get the idea. Um, so I can go right to... not Nope, not there. Uh, I can go over to the drop right here and put on pattern and here's what it sounds like just a drop alright so uh, what I did is I did 3 OSCX uh, the most basic uh, oscillator in FL Studio um, what you're just going to do is a square sign, a saw sign, either one, doesn't matter. Um, you could switch them, but square and then a saw and turn the CRS all the way down, volume the same, and then just turn the volume down for this. I know it's on white noise, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I just turn the volume all the way down. You're only going to be needing two of the oscillators. Um, and uh, what you're going to do is I can shut off these ones. That gets you a pretty dirty sounding one, um, just plain like that, and it's the most basic thing ever. And uh, once you get that, um, it's, you know, that's pretty much all you really need. Uh, I threw it into the mixer. Uh, added parametric EQ, gave it a lot of emphasis on the bass, um, so it's more, it's like dirtier. Alright, so uh, add a lot of emphasis on the bass, but not too much where it's really muffled like you saw there. Then what you're going to do is you're going to copy that and add a couple layers. Um, I added four layers. One of them is a Stutterfly bass from, uh, from... Zeta plus two. Turn just that one on. Why is it not playing? That is really weird. Oh wait, because I turned it down? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, the, uh, right here, never mind. <laughs> the Zeta thing was turned all the way down. Actually, now that I see that, I can just fix it. All 
You want it to kind of be a little staccato. Alright, there we go. Um, you want that to be a little staccato and that sounds pretty good. And then we'll go to the next one. Very basic. Massive sound. Square saw. And pretty much it. All the way to the right with the WT position. Alright. Now, um, move on to the next one. Just another massive preset. Not preset. Just another maths of uh, Z bass sound. It's a very, very simple saw. It's, it's not really anything. It's just a, another square saw, but with a different, uh, different effects. And now we move on to the first massive. And then uh, pretty much, as you can see, some of them I did different uh, different notes uh, that skew off just to get it a little bit dynamic and uh, have some extra notes and just be a little more original and because uh, that makes it less boring. And then uh, you just layer them all together and it sounds like this. That's pretty much what you want, and that's uh, how it sounds. It sounds a lot dirtier with uh, with ASIO, and uh, the bass is really heavy. And then uh, down here, I just have a basic sine bass. Really nothing. Um, volume really turned down, so it barely makes a difference. What I've been noticing a lot, um, I actually went to see Zed uh, about a week ago, and uh, what I noticed a lot that he did, and what I've actually been noticing a lot in uh, artists such as Hardwell, uh, nowadays is that they'll do this technique that I really like and I'm just starting to incorporate in my style um, is when they do a kick um, they'll do like 4x4 four four measure kick and then uh, on the last one they won't do a kick and then they'll add a snare so it'll sound like this or they can get rid of that and they can add three kicks and then whoops three kicks and then a snare and that's what I've been noticing uh, people doing a lot lately and it sounds kinda cool um, I guess it's kinda where the style is going now but I hope this video helped on how to get your electro house bass um, just remember to comment, rate, subscribe, uh, comment if you have any questions I try my best to uh, get back to people who have serious questions and as always, uh, I, I don't know why I always say this, 
like eight times before I actually go. But uh, remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and thanks for watching.